Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Well done, you, and a clapping emoji is not a compliment. Anyway, what have you got for us today, Mike? Oh, today I've got a story about. Oh, no, I just wanted to say something. Well done, you! Um, <laughs> Today I have a story about one of the UK's biggest tourist attractions. And then we superheat some metals in that science, that is. Just a bit disappointed that you didn't say <clears throat> a sparkler through an egg. I don't, thought I made it quite clear the other week, but you know, whatever. Um, and we even have a game to play along with. On screen now, you can see our social media contact info. Just look for at the Cud TV. And as people's names who have interacted with us go along the bottom of the screen, we go over to our disappointment that is Lee in the showbiz. I think to use my phone today or my tablet is is useless. <laughs> it's probably shy to believe mm. this, yeah. yeah. So uh, Robbie Williams, are we a fan or are we not a fan? I wouldn't say a fan. I wouldn't want to push him in front of traffic, like I would Gary Barlow. Okay. Just so he's done something interesting in his life. Mm. Um, yeah. mm. Have you watched the, the documentary on no. Netflix? No. No, mm. I'm not bothered. Divisive. Is it? Mm. Why? Mm. What, what's divisive about it? He's a cock. Oh, I might and there's nothing them. divisive about that. It's just my opinion. Some people like them. Other people may, 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 anyway. Some people like Enough them. of my opinions. Yeah. Um, he's apparently been diagnosed with a new condition. Because he's not a stranger to conditions, is Robbie Williams. He's had depression, he's had agoraphobia. And we're not laughing at any of those because yeah. they're very serious. Mm -hmm. um, but apparently he's been diagnosed with something called highly sensitive person disorder. Okay. Mm. Now, this is Robbie Williams back in the day, on the left. That's Robbie Williams now. He has aged... He's not, like, he's not aged like a fine wine. He's aged like milk. He's aged like a lettuce leaf, is what I was going to yes, say. Yes, bless. You know, it's, um, fine at the bottom I mean, he has had a hard life, but it's a self-inflicted hard life. He's had, he's had struggles with addiction. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, he's kind of talking about how... Um, He's been addicted to food and drugs in the past. He's now sober, but now he's adding HSP, highly sensitive person disorder, to his list. Um, so he's told an interviewer that, you know, I've got dyspraxia, dyslexia, ADHD, neurodiversity, body dysmorphia, hypervigilance, and now I've got HSP. Uh, he says, I've got, obviously, I have an addictive personality, okay. obviously. Cool. Um, I haven't got narcissistic personality disorder or split personality disorder. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Easy for me to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, it feels like he's like collecting things like scout badges. I'm going to have another one. Um, okay. hmm. Experts have defined a highly sensitive person as neurodivergent individual who is thought to have an increased or deeper central nervous system sensitivity to physical, emotional, and social stimuli. Okay. I it... have that because I'm an empath. Okay. In general. <laughs> but you know. I think you misheard someone when they called you a psychopath. Anyway, um, so I, I'm not a massive fan of the phrase neurodivergent. Okay. Since I learned something, a different way of saying it, which is neurospicy. I quite like that. Neurospice. Because I've been diagnosed as neurodivergent, I don't think I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> You've not sat opposite you for the past five years. Um. <laughs> I just think differently, right? Mm. So I said, no, I, I'm not a fan of that phrase, but I like neurospicy. Yeah. Just, just let's have more fun. Um, so he's, he's previously been in rehab after addictions to speed, acid, heroin, cocaine and apparently heart stopping amounts of prescription drugs this you know we've got a picture of the, him back in the day mm -hmm. when take that first came out do you remember the video where they just put jelly on each other's bums and rubbed it in yeah mm. um <laughs> i think you might remember it a bit more vividly to me <laughs> do what you like <laughs> see i my feeling about robbie williams is is that he is an egocentric person mm -hmm. it's all about him um and a nice patronising way of explaining egocentric there. <laughs> he, I, I watched I watched the documentary and it didn't endear myself to him okay. anymore. It made me think like, wow, 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 poor rich boy got all these problems. Nobody's making you go on stage. You're choosing to. 
but that's just my opinion. Um, this is him in his latest tour. This is not, this is not... Milk. Yes. <laughs> Let's move on, because okay. I, I feel like I'm being a bit negative towards Robbie Williams. Okay. Girls Aloud. Mm -hmm. They're reunited. That's good. After 11 years. In 11 years yeah, already. Yes. So obviously, sadly, last year, um, Sarah Harding died uh -huh. of breast cancer. Yep. Um, and this is this is a picture of them at kind of at the height of their, their popularity. Um, and they kind of went there, they kind of, I mean, with Girls Aloud, it was always rumours they hated each other and mm. only certain ones spoke to each other. But I think with Sarah Harding passing, it kind of has brought them back, back together. together. Mm -hmm. um, so, they, so they have recorded a brand new single Okay. Um, which is, is, is in tribute to Sarah Harding. Um, this is them kind of quite recently in the summer. They were at a wedding. Um, Nadine looks like um, Sarah Jessica Parker um, for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, it's, it is. So they, they apparently they arrived at a music studio in North London and each in a separate car wearing caps and shades to maintain a low profile. A don't separate think people car. Are, Really? We weren't thinking about our, our car. Did you not just got in an girls? Uber and shared it? Um, so it's it's going to be a... Um, no, they're not saying it's a ballad or a banger. I'm hoping for a banger. I don't need it'll, no ballads. Be, it's going to be a ballad, isn't it? Do you it's, think? If it's in like deference to, to Sarah. Yeah, but Sarah Harding was quite a sassy character. Do you what? But <sighs> it's not her producing it, is it? So I think if she was doing it, it would be mm. quite a sassy number. But well, apparently they're set to make a comeback, including a full album of okay. new music and a massive, massive UK tour okay. um, in 2024. Um, just are you jumping the gun? <laughs> just wait till you're at, just get her, get her. Um, did you ever go see Girls Aloud? I did, I was at their penultimate tour. I was at the, well, the last one. The very last one. Yes. Did. Well, not the very last tour of the so tour. The last, so the last the show. tour. Yeah, right. I went to the penultimate show of the last oh, tour. Oh, okay. So I, I went the night that they announced that they, this they were that going. tomorrow will be the last. Oh. So it was very, very raw and very emotional. I was very drunk. Were you very drunk? I was in a corporate box. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Fancy. So, yeah, so that, that'll, be, that'll be nice Ooh. For, for people yeah. who enjoy Girls Aloud. I like some of their music. I like some of their music. Not a fan of some of their personalities. No. But, you know, we will see. Hopefully they may have learned from this. Hopefully. Um, I did see I did see Nadine Quayle at a, an Ainties show the other week. She did a, a Girls Lad Mega Mix. But the Girls Lad weren't from the 90s. They were from the noughties. Were they not like the late 90s? Oh, well, defamation of... Uh, I'd, get, I'd ask for a refund. I think I may well do, actually. So in the 90s, now, what are you doing Girls Loud for? What are you doing there? That's quite clearly naughty. Is Heather Small not available? Anyway, that's Get that. Get Lulu in, do shout. Well she, well, she was a kind of around in the... But that wasn't take independence. That re re like independence. Yeah, yeah. Relight yeah. like my fire, we take that. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, let's go on to another pop music. It's all about pop music this week, the show is news. OK, no waxworks. No waxworks this week. Really OK? There wasn't any available. I did search. <laughs> yeah, I logged out. And I couldn't find any new waxworks. Well, I feel this search was an extensive I think search. this time of the year is a low and a lull in the waxwork <laughs> development. <laughs> They're too busy perhaps putting tinsel around them ready for Christmas. Might in the Christmas show, there might be some, some we don't know. Anyway, um, Kim Petrus. Okay. We, 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 we kind of like Kim Petrus, like don't Kim we? Petrus, yeah. um, so she, she apparently is all for ha letting her fans have sex at her concerts. Apparently that's the goal. Okay. There's Kim Petrus. That's the cover of her her most recent album, Feed the Beast. There's some nails on them fingers. I don't know if they're her own. I don't care. I not... don't know if that's somebody else's hands cupping her bosoms. You're not getting fingered by them, are you? No. They cut you to sunder. A, a lot of pop people have those big clacky nails, don't they? I don't know. Big long clacky nails. Anyway, um, she is she she's going on tour in the UK next year mm -hmm. with her Feed the Beast. World tour, okay. um, and what she's th this is one of the sort of like opening numbers. So she kind of comes out of. I want to say they're called like an Iron Maiden, from like the okay. when they used to, you know, put the people inside them, squash them, puncture them, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't know why she's doing it like that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, basically, what she's saying is is that you know 
I'm up for people to have gay sex in the audience while they're... Well, um, only gay sex, then. Gay sex. Not I mean, heterosexuals. She, I mean, she said gay sex, but I would imagine she, would, she wouldn't sniff at, you know, a bit of penis and vagina or vagina on vagina or just some light fingering. I think she'd be quite happy with all of those. I wouldn't be happy people having sex Don't be fellated in front of you. I, I'm there to watch a concert. I don't watch them have sex. I don't want to see. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to slip on your juices. It's not... Not at my age. Um, we've got break another. Your hip. How did you break your hips? Uh, <laughs> slipping on jizz. Slipping on love juices at a, at a, at a Kim Petras concert. Um, no, I wouldn't be happy with that. Um, so <laughs> how she... did they end up in your mouth? So well, <laughs> <laughs> a big squirter. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be twenty-two dates. Thirteenth uh -huh. of February in Birmingham. So if you want to go and have gay sex or any kind of sex. Um, Go to Kim Petras' concert. I think you've got to have somebody with you. You can't just go and expect to have oh. them. Not providing somebody to have sex with. What if you have it on your own? I think there's a difference with just jobbing one off while looking at <laughs> an artist on stage. Trying to catch eye contact. Trying to get eye contact <laughs> and flinging it at them. And just having having a having a lovely sexual moment when she's perhaps doing Chop Shop, that famous song that she did with Sam Smith. <laughs> and that's that's the end of Showbiz News. Unholy. I like to call it Chop Shop. Name of the song <coughs> is Unholy. Du, du, daddy in the chop shop. That's <laughs> not the lyrics. <laughs> Stick around because after this, it's Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's go over to Mike and the Buzz. Nights out. When was the last time we went on a night out? A night out? Night out. Not out out, obviously, because you don't do out out. But just going out to like maybe drinks, maybe some food. It would have been a long maybe time. Maybe a show. I don't care for it. You don't care for it? It's a lot of effort. If I'm already in the house and it requires me to, <laughs> to leave the house, it's not going to happen. Okay. If I'm already out, as in at work, there's more chance of me going, oh, I'll meet you there. But then I might not. Because social battery. Because I might just go home. Yeah, and I'm already at home then. <laughs> so, yeah. Already on the way home. Yeah. Uh, this is a lady called Nicola, who's realised that it's cheaper for her to not go out, but instead fly to Lanzarote. So she's worked out it's cheaper to fly for four hours to Lanzarote, have a sunbathe session sort of thing, mm -hmm. then go home and have, a, have an early night, than it was for actually going a night out, night out. Um, that's all well and good. Uh -huh. What about the carbon footprint and that? Don't think she cares about the carbon footprint. I don't think she cares either. No, because she's just flown she will to Lanzarote. Care, though, when the world is burning. She's forty-four. <laughs> We're in that age bracket. We don't care. We don't care. Cause... It's all about us now. Exactly. Because no, you think about all the like the the um, baby boomers mm. that like voted for Brexit and shit. Yeah. Right. And when <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> We're dead soon. Who gives a shit? Right. That'll be us in twenty years. Let's let's fly as often as we want. Let's enjoy ourselves. It's not our problem. Life, let's eat turtles. Let's... Apparently they're delicious. <laughs> like giant giant turtles and stuff that they, they used to find in the Galapagos. It took them 50 years to get one back to London alive because they kept being eaten on the way. They're eating them on the because way. Because not only were they delicious, they are so delicious they were slightly addictive. So they would get halfway there get and, halfway there and, and, and go, have to go, go back because I've eaten all the turtles. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. How? how the... <laughs> Did you not know that? Um... <laughs> <laughs> you have one giant turtle and then half an hour later they like Pringles they like Pringles oh nom, 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 yum yum yum, yum. once you, um, you de-shell you can't stop oh dear <laughs> I wouldn't want to what are the little ones T temporid <laughs> temporid uh, like <laughs> yum, um, temporid like soft shell cabs mm. um, yeah, anyway let's, let's, let's not be horrible about it. Okay. so she, okay. she she just goes right let's go lands right here in it she's from Manchester Let's go, Lance Roy. I just lowered my voice, <laughs> and that made no <laughs> made no difference to the. Let's Not go, Lance Roy. That you were no, for. let's go. Look, what is an ang a chibata? Let's go. Let's go. I can't do one. <laughs> no. Um, well, you know, good for her. What a what a life. What a world. Yeah. What a, what a joyous. <laughs> so if you're time. going to go out on the night out, just go to Lance Roy instead. It's cheaper. <laughs> Less chance of getting fingered in a night nightclub as well. Not impossible. Not less impossible, chance. but less chance. Less chance. Are you off there then this weekend? Yeah, I'm actually. Nice. 
Yeah. Okay. Should we move on a little bit? Yeah, let's, okay. let's do. So the next story is about somewhere travelling in the UK. Right? Oh, okay. One of the big sites. I mean, you've been in the UK for many, 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 many years. Since around the 17th century. Yeah, many years. When, my, when I first clawed out of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Having slept there for a century before. But yes. Yes, <laughs> like yes. Dracula. Um, what do you think the biggest tourist attraction is in the UK? Like the most popular? I'm going to say somewhere like Alton Towers. Or... Um, okay. Uh, or the, the Buckinghamshire House. Okay. Where the, where, the, where the people okay. live. Or possibly um, uh, Madame Tussauds. <laughs> Where you're quite often found and be escorted out with your pants <laughs> around your ankles going, Oh, they looked so real. <laughs> so actually, one of the most popular things, right, according to TripAdvisor, is actually a tunnel. Okay. Okay. And it's outside the shopping centre of Bude. Bude. Um, Bude. Yeah. Um, so it's a supermarket tunnel that basically it goes down the side of a Sainsbury's and it links one road to another. Right. And the, the, the trolleys are there as well. But they keep using it and decorating it up. Okay. Okay. So, like during Christmas time, it becomes a Christmas grotto theme. Shockingly. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Halloween, it becomes a Guy Fawkes theme. Um, well, it just becomes Valentine's. It doesn't become a huge poo shoot. Why a huge poo shoot? Because that's the only time you're allowed to do anal. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an orifice, a huge orifice. It, it's pink. <laughs> Let's just leave it there. There you go. Um, pink with a love heart motif. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's continually like loved on TripAdvisor and has some of the highest like ratings of anything on TripAdvisor, mm. right? Because people really enjoy it and it's inoffensive. And yet, the photograph you're showing does not encourage me to go and visit at all. It's just white. There's nothing there. There's no pictures of it done up. Is there not? You've made that assumption. What's it done up as then? You want to see it done up? Is that Christmas? Has no, it that's, just, that's just the standard. The that's just standard. standard tunnel. Right, okay, let's see it done up then. I'm not going to show you the pictures now. Oh, well, well, then I think it's a, I think it's all a, a big pile of hooey. Big pile of hooey. Yeah, right, it's fine. I don't well, believe that. I that should is leave a... you with your pile of hooey fine. then, and we're I'll not going Google to show it later. You, you Google it later. And if you need to Google things because you're throwing a hissy fit about not having it there and then when you want it, why not share it with us? We are at The Good TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, peril is all around us. Is it? It is. <laughs> the way you smiled when I said peril is all around us. Like, it is, yeah. <laughs> okay. Things falling. Has anything ever fallen on you? A dead body. A dead body? Really? Mm. Yeah. How, how did that happen? Just walking along. Hello. I think somebody uh, in a flight to Lanzarote uh, opened the wrong door. <laughs> Landed on me. They just got sucked off. Just splat. <laughs> okay. And I went, that is what you get for not <laughs> for disregarding your carbon footprint. And I just stepped over them and carried okay. on walking. Right, so realistic now. Probably. What's the biggest thing that's ever fallen on you? But I don't know, a book. <laughs> can you read? I can read. Okay. Um, so apart from the book, right? It felt, did it hurt you? I, I, I can't remember, Mike. <laughs> to cause some damage. Then. Delayed. I fell off a roof once. <laughs> right. <clears throat> you need to tell me that story. What happened? Um, uh, I was it on was, a roof and fell off. <laughs> uh, no, it, it was it was it was a winter time and it snowed. And I had invited friends around for a luncheon, um, and I went out on the roof. No, not on the roof. No, but I'm just okay. in the scene. Stuff in the oven. I had to go to, to out to the freezer. Door shut, closed behind me. Didn't have my keys. Okay. What am I going to do? The stuff in the oven. Friends are uh, arriving imminently. Okay. Oh, there's bathroom windows open upstairs. I'll climb on the extension up the ladder that was conveniently to the side. Climb through the window. Halfway up the ladder, I thought. What happens if this falls, this slips? And it did. And there was like a moment where I was like hovering in space where I thought, I'm probably going to die. Um, didn't. Didn't learn. Got back on the ladder, <laughs> climbed back up, got stuck in the window. <laughs> so your friends came around and it's just your arse and hanging out. I managed to rip the arse out of my pants, squeezing myself through, landed on the, <laughs> landed on the sink. And uh, yeah, we all had a good time after <laughs> Did you tell your guests that story? Um, no, but they did ask me when I was limping. Because <laughs> I'd, okay. I'd grazed my thigh. 
climbing the bathroom window. Yeah. Anyway, um, so this is less interesting than that, really. Oh, um, OK. Uh, this is a pregnant woman who has recovered after a dog has fallen on her. Oh, needs, now you see, I'm sad now because that's sad. Why is, is that it, sad? Uh, is the dog OK? The dog's fine. That's all right. We can, <laughs> we can, we can, we can yuck it up now. <laughs> we can yuck um, it up. We don't care about the woman. What will she do? Was she just like walking down the street and all of a sudden it landed on her? She was walking down the street, yep. Yeah. Um, been on a holiday to Lanzarote and opened the long door. <laughs> Where's that story come from? You! So yeah, basically what happened was a dog had fallen off the balcony. Oh right. no, that's awful. And fell from the sky. But luckily it saved, it cushioned their impact by a foot landing on a pregnant woman. Uh, Did the baby shoot out? <laughs> Yeah, she squished. <laughs> baby shot, shot out. Shot out, but because it was still attached to the umbilical cord. Bounced so back like, in. Went, <laughs> Straight back in and up. And like a, like a little thing went... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <Sure>. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, say ye! Um, no, it didn't happen. The, the, the dog, the dog fell, felling on her right. happened. Broke a collarbone. Broke a collarbone. Right, okay. she got better. Baby still was in womb, okay. It, did she um, adopt the dog after? No, it just fallen off the balcony. It was owned. Oh, okay. It wasn't lost. I was not trying to end it all. Oh, right. did we have a picture of them? I mean, that's a sad picture. Yeah, it's did a we have a picture fish. of the dog afterwards? No. Oh, once, right? Uh huh. In the summer, I bought, as you do, when you go into Aldi and you go, I'm just going to get some potatoes and a loaf. And you came out with a, ha a, a, a hammock that you assembled <laughs> yeah. in, with a frame, set it up in the in the back garden. I know this story. Got on it and was like, like that. Nell decided to leap on it. She leapt from the steps onto me. The whole thing went, woof, and collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> broke my back. She shut off. I would be telling you this yeah. story. It's not stopped being funny. It's very funny. <laughs> Yeah, but I wasn't pregnant, so it was okay. Pissed myself, but, you know, that's... Well, piss yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't shit yourself and then try and hide it in the plastic bag. Um, but that's all from the post this week. Thank you, Mike, and I think that that is a slander on my personality and I will not have it. Anyway, stay with us, because coming up after this, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to be playing Ooza Kazoo, and that is a job for this man who is here <laughs> presenting as a man. So off you go with the male, a identifying as a male. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Game of the Week. So. It's time to play Ooze Kazoo. Are we ready, Mike? Have you found the kazoo? I do indeed have the kazoo. Are you ready for the first song? I am indeed. Okay. <laughs> that would be Zippity Doo Da. It was indeed Zippity Doo From a Disney film that I cannot remember. Okay, you can have half a point then. Is it Jungle Book? It's not from Jungle Book, no. Is it Aladdin? <laughs> no. Is it the stones, the spits, the, the rolling boo? What is, what is Zippity Doo Dar out of? Oh, it's a film. Is it Dumbo? No, it's not Doo Dar. It's a, it's a f I can't remember. Okay, next one, please. Right. So. La 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 do 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 jump up and down and to da da dee bee do ba 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 na 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 hula melody those are the exact words to that song <laughs> Are they really? They are. Okay, it was indeed Agadu. <coughs> so who it was by? Um the Agadoo band. Yeah, Black Lace. Black Lace. Black Lace. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. Right, next was a TV theme. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is it? Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. It wasn't Robin, Robin Hood, Hood yeah. Robin Hood enjoys the company of men. 
<laughs> yes. So. Yeah. Well done, you. Okay. Right, that song. Ready? Mm-hmm. Like I say, I've got the gallery singing one song in my ear, but I know that it isn't the song that you are singing. What are the gallery singing in your ear? They're singing like... Scooby-Doo <laughs> in my ear. And I'm thinking that that is Scooby-Doo, although that is not the tune. OK, so what you say is the answer? I'm saying that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've, they've found a new thing to do, haven't they? <laughs> In the gallery. <laughs> so it's called Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. That is not Scooby-Doo theme tune, is it? It's not. No, it's very different in lyric and in composition. Mm. The next one is a theme tune. <laughs> is it Teen Spirit by Nirvana? It is, yeah. It's obviously <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> okay, next one. Another theme tune. Also a song. <laughs> Anyone can fall in love. Anyone can fall in love by Anita Dobson, Slash. aka the theme tune from Stenders. Stenders, it was, yes. Mm -hmm. Well done, you. I didn't buy it. Did, did you download it illegally? I did the radio. I didn't have <laughs> any of it. I, 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 I had um, the other one that he did, Nick um, Berry. What was uh -huh. his one? Every loser wins. Do, 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 do. That one, that went to number one. And I also bought um, the one that um, Sharon did called Something Out of Nothing. Do, 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 what about do. What's the Face? Who? This is my moment. Oh, yeah. This is the perfect, perfect moment with a yogurt. Yogurt. She she went and sold yogurt when she was. Who yogurt? Yeah, she did. Who yogurt? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Don't you poo -poo. steal my phrase. Mm. Let's, let's have another song then. Okay, next one. <laughs> oh, yellow. Yellow by Coldplay. Was indeed. Have you been reading these cards? No. I just must be very in tune today. Okay. Okay. Next theme tune. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> that would be the theme tune to Neighbours. It was indeed the theme Have tune. Have you watched it? It's shocking. It was never the best. But, but the, show, the actual program, they brought it back. Have they? And it started playing on some channel without me wanting it. And I was like, oh, this is bad. It was always bad. But even more. But now you would think they would know better. Technology has moved on. Script writing has moved on. And the same old shit. It's a different decade. That's, TV That's my you. review. Yeah. Okay. Um, next song. Oh, no, I don't know that one. That's not going to work. <laughs> when we used to be like, baby, guy. <laughs> Laugh and cry. <laughs> <laughs> It's Family Guy. It is Family Guy. Although, a mm, bit problematic. It, it's, it, yeah. At times. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> what you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? 
They right. tuned to Sesame Street. It was indeed, yeah. You Do remember it? Sesame Street? Yeah, it's still on now. Is it? Yeah. Do they still have Mr. Snuffleupagus? It's not, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's just guppus. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and keep it at the right level for you so you can get it. Are you ready? Next one. <laughs> I'm not clapping my hands because I'm not happy. And if you, you don't have know it. <laughs> piano, you know it, and you really want to show. If you have piano, you know it. Old people, old men can clap their bollocks like, ugh, ugh, like that. <laughs> That's that again, because Lee? your nappy's too tight, gallery. Got right. to open the flaps to let them dangle. Wait, like so those low hangers free. So what has to happen for them to be able to clap their bollocks? Sorry, they have to what? Just take, just take the trousers down so that their testicle can can just drop uh -huh. to like an inch before they hit the floor, and then they just go plop, clap, clap, clap like that okay. against Ooh. their thighs, their milky white thighs. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next song. <laughs> Never had a dream come true by S Club. However many they are now. Yes, correct. S Club. Never had a dream come true. Um, I I have had a cummy dream, which is a you've had a what? Thing. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a what? A gummy dream. <laughs> what is a gummy dream? <laughs> you know, every, all boys have gummy dreams. I think ladies sometimes do as well. Do ladies have? Do ladies have? Um, uh, <laughs> do ladies have um, wet dreams? Nocturnal emissions? <laughs> Was it recently you had this dream? If everyone has noctur a nocturnal emission. How does this ever get played on anything? Stick around because next it's Mike and that's science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to Mike and I think it's going to be very exciting. I'm almost so excited I've got a little bit of a chub. It's that science that is. That science, that is. Now, at the start of the show, I said something about superheating metals, and you got really upset with me. Mm. So we're not going to do that now. I can right? see, I can see giant sparklers. Yeah, which is when you superheat a metal. Um, that's how sparklers react. But you didn't want to do that, so we're not going to do that now. We're going to make paper airplanes. No, instead. we're not. We're going to stick sparklers through this variety of things here. Uh huh. Oh, and see. Uh -huh. What happens? I'm very excited. We are right? indeed. Okay. Unusually for this segment, very <laughs> <Yeah>. excited. <laughs> You'd be very excited when we made ice cream. Yeah, and butter. And butter. That's basically anything I can put in my face. We had jizz. We made jizz too. What? We made jizz. Mm. Well. Okay. Now, some some words of warning. We are in a very controlled studio. Yeah. Okay. Although we're sat down, we have easy escape routes. Okay. Where? And, so like. Or do oh. I just throw myself through the set to get out the window? No, no, no. As in this way. Okay. But we're not we're not pinned in. So it's like I can stand up and sit down quite easily. I'm away from the desk, so it's it's safe. Right, if you got... need to drop and roll. Exactly. And we've got fire extinguishers on standby as well. Right. As you can see, we've got a couple of things. We've got a banana. A nami. We've got a, a, a kiwi fruit. Kiwi. Uh, an earth or an egg? Chucky egg. Chucky egg, yeah. And you, we've also got some um corn. I, I am I am aware of the corn. I don't know how I will get a sparkler through a kernel of corn. Oh no, it's going to be more exciting than that. Oh. So the first one we're going to do is the banana. 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 Okay. So I want you to carefully open up your sparklers. Oh, it's very exciting. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to see whether this the the, the heat will transfer to keep the sparkler going if it goes through a banana. Ooh. 
Okay, now what I want you to do is make sure when you've got your sparklers out, the ones that you aren't using, you put way away safe. I will, I'll pop them. Okay. Pop them over there. Yeah, okay. So I want you to insert your sparkler into your banana, whichever way you choose. Whichever way I choose? Yes. Okay. Do I need it to be peeled or not? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Do I take the sticker off in case it sets a flame? Yes. Okay, and when you insert your banana, you want it to go in. Insert my banana? Oh, in, the sparkler into the banana. You want it to go in that. You want to go. Okay. You want it to go through the the, the first bit, the bit you hold. enemy, what's wrong? Okay. Well, that'll fine. That'll be fine. All right, go on. Sorry. There you go. And then you want to pop your, your spark, sew it down like that. So it goes through the middle. So it goes through the middle. Oh, I have done. You went in the hand first. You went in the the handle bit first, right? No, you need so of the bit that reacts, you want it in the middle. Okay. 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 I also told you to put it through the handle bit first. Didn't do that. So you might have a problem lighting it because it'll start off wet. Other side is what? I've dry. It's okay. It's dry. Okay, it's dry. Okay. I'd suggest removing your egg and your kiwi fruit for a little while. Maybe popping them to one side. Yes. And no, no. Don't hold the sparkler. Do I don't put... hold the banana. You no, I don't want to put it. Pop it on the tray. Okay. Okay. Right. And then you just light the end. Ooh. Will the nani light up inside? <laughs> very exciting. Yes, it's very Yeah, you can light yours now, Lee. I'll we'll wait for mine to, to go through. I always want to play the Mission Impossible theme when I hear, see a sparkle going off. Um, I think my sparkler might have been compromised by banana juice. Oh dear, well, I'm about to get to the banana. Oh, now it has started! Oh, it's still going, mine's still going. It's still having a go. Oh, oh, my oh, banana's smoking, my banana's smoking, my banana's smoking, and oh, 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 it's through! Oh, <laughs> magic! <laughs> this is an endothermic reaction, it involves um, magnesium, which is what makes it bright. Oh, it's in, oh, it's in, it's in. It has gone. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's spurting <laughs> out the side. Is it going to go through? If we turn the lights down, would it glow? Would it become a glow? <laughs> Oh, oh, it has on the other side, it's all lit up. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is the best day ever. Can I eat the banana afterwards? If you want to, you can. Might not taste very nice, it's had a sparkle through it. How does it happen, Mike? Um, so it basically happens because it's an endothermic reaction. And with things like bananas, there's a lot of sugar in it, so it burns the sugar and keeps it hot. And that's Ooh. all that you need to do for a sparkler is just keep it hot. Do okay. not touch the sparkler. Do not touch the sparkler. So if you look what I've done now, I've moved the sparkler and banana using the handle to the side. Oh, I'll just slide it to the there side. We there we go. There we go. Okay. I'll be like that child off that um, that infomercial from the 70s. You will indeed. Mm. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> do you want to do the kiwi fruit or the, or the corn? Uh, corn. The corn. Okay, so I'll do the kiwi fruit. Do the egg first. Though. Right. So with the with the um, with the corn, you're going to put your your sparkler down on the tray and cover it in corn. Okay. And I'll just start my I'll start my kiwi fruit off. Just going to watch your. Um, okay. I'm going to watch the kiwi fruit first. Kiwi to see if, it's, fruit. if it gets through. It's lighting up. Light up. Light oh, I can still hear it. You can actually hear it fizzing. Have a choice. Oh, I'm singing. You can actually hear it cooking. Oh, it's coming out the other side. Okay, so that's that's going through now, and a lovely smell of caramelised kiwi fruit is filling the studio. Voodoo. Um, Will the popcorn just go explode on me? Okay, okay. Not to start with. But you put a lot of corn down. Ah. There we go. The reason why corn um, 
pops is because it gets hot and the water inside it forces out. Okay. Non, it is not popping. What might have happened there is that it might have been too hot for the popcorn. Oh. Okay. Um, so now it's the last one. <gasps> okay. Oh, we're out of time. No! Just cut it, cut, cut out the banana thing. I want to do, oh no. You want to do the egg? Yeah. You can do the egg. Okay. And the way you're going to do this is very carefully with the handle end. Yes. Scratch a little hole. Oh, I must find something else. Oh, that's done it. That's made it. That's You've made a, a hole. hole. Okay, I'm going to do it. Do I have to make a hole in the other end? Yes, you need a hole in each end. And then I might be able to make that hole bigger now with my little end of my... With your end. Oh, yes, it has. Once you've got a hole in each end, you thread <gasps> the handle side through. Look, it's through. It's through? Yeah. I'm going to light it. The exact same process, but with an egg instead of a banana. Oh, it's crumbled off, but I'm... Oh, no, no, don't, don't crumble off. Oh, it's... Oh, I think it's going to not work. Okay. Ooh, jizz. Okay. Done it! I've got a slight crack in my egg as well. <gasps> Can we bring the lights down if it goes in the middle to see the egg light up? It's gone inside the egg. Oh, the juice is gone. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come out Mine's yet. Mine's going in now. Mine's going in now. Oh, oh, oh look, it's like an, oh. Oh, mine's come just right out of the end. Yours was a... Oh. Oh, no, it's doing it. <gasps> I'm not going to lie. That has been the best moment of my life. Next time, can we do just do this all the time? No. But with, like, no. different sizes of things. Melons, apples, perhaps that a side of that ham. Is, that science, that is. That science, that is. Eggy, egg, egg. No. It, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a bit. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. Smoky and. Yeah. yeah. I got very excited and did a little trump. <laughs> you, very, very cut. you did go and it was audible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I, next thing is I'll be sick. I'm like one of those kids that just get so excited they vomit on themselves. <laughs> I'm bleh. Well, thankfully, it's almost the end of the show. To remember to join us on our social media. I'm going quick because you might throw up. It's at the Good TV on all the usual places. It's getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, it's me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>